Morning guys, Matt Odell with Odell Outdoors. Uh, I wanted to take a minute here to show you a grill that I made to work with my Alpine stowaway pot. Uh, I always had trouble with the uh, stowaway pot getting it up out of the coals. If you put it right on the coals, what ends up happening is you smother the fire out and then you can't do any kind of cooking or you know get anywhere with it very well. So I wanted to make a grill that I could get the pot up out of the coals, but also be able to use it as a grill in case I'm out bird hunting and I shoot a grouse and I wanna cook that baby right up right there on the trail. Uh, so let's get going on this. Again, this is the Alpine stowaway pot. They call it the Seagull, Seagull by MSR. nice little pot in case you don't know anything about it it all seals up in its own container you can have your it's got a nice detachable lid some guys will use this as a plate some guys will actually use it as a frying pan as well I've used it as a plate several times but never as a frying pan um, in the kit cook kit you can have your multiple seasonings you can have a little scouring pad to clean up with some ways of you know getting a fire starter i've got a couple different ones in here these are just for like fireplaces now i when i do use these i make sure they burn up completely before i start cooking with them because it is kind of a petroleum type product but these are excellent um, fire starters um, seasonings, I got some pepper, salt, sugar, and of course my favorite, roasted garlic and herb. I don't go anywhere without that. Pot grabber, I don't usually need to use this, but if I do, you know, it's a great one. Uh, don't get the cheap ones, get, get a good quality one because you'll regret it. The cheap ones, these tend to bend on you. Um, collapsible cup works pretty good I got this at Walmart like I don't I think it was under a buck they make a, another one by uh, sea to summit and supposedly it's a little bit more durable and robust I, I don't know I haven't looked into that uh, fork and spoon and some tea I'm actually gonna be making some tea here in a minute uh, with the uh, Pathfinder bottle and cup kit but that's not what this is about today what I'm wanting to show you is the grill and like I said I made this primarily as a means of getting a, the pot up out of the coals and I wanted to be able to use it for cooking some meats and different things like that on the way I made it took a piece of stainless steel cut it so that it would fit down into the pot drilled the you know all these holes had the, the hardest part was laying the pattern out and then drilling the holes being stainless very hard i probably went through realistically i went through probably five drill bits to try to do this and mostly that was my impatience because i wanted to get the project done but it's got some uh studs sticking out of here that i i have screwed into here and then uh, ground them down flat there were screws that I started here's some uh, quarter inch stainless steel tubing that I tap the ends on it so that they thread right into there and I made it three legs and not four because three legs is always level uh, four legs is more stable but three legs is level and for out here on the, you know I can shove this right down in the ground a little bit so as far as stability goes it, I have not had a problem yet it works wonderful um, and as far as leveling you know you want to have it somewhat level so your your pot doesn't end up sliding off on you and causing some big issues that is the pot I think we just had a deer run through over here when, uh, but anyways that is the the pot and the grill and what I had already done here, let me get this water off of here, set down. 
make my tea here in a little bit, but I had had my fire going good earlier, and during the process of making the video, it's gone out. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you this in action, at least somewhat. You put that down on the fire, and you put your pan right on there, gets it up out of there. Plenty of room to be able to feed more fuel underneath there and keep the fire going. But in the uh, sake of saving time on the video, I actually have already cooked up some fried apples for breakfast. Now, it's got sugar in there uh, to car caramelize them and some cinnamon. And then don't freak out about the little brown thing in there. That's actually a chunk of vanilla bean for flavor. But I cooked these up this morning just a few minutes ago on this setup. Obviously, she works wonderful. Um, if you did want to just use the cup, Pathfinder cup, or any of the other you know stainless steel or metal type cups on there, they work great. Um, I would recommend keeping it off to the side to keep your, your handles cooled down. If you want to use the bottle, stainless steel bottle, that fits on there too. Now with the stainless steel bottle, um, the reason that you use the, the Pathfinder one or the Clean Canteen version is that they are single wall. There's no insulation in this cup. So don't run out and grab a... Uh, you know, an in, uh, insulated stainless steel cup thinking you can put it on the fire because it's not going to work for you. Uh, I am going to stop talking and enjoy my breakfast here. So, again, Matt O'Dell with O'Dell Outdoors. I hope you enjoy this stuff. I'm a new YouTuber, so hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. You can also go to O'Dell Outdoors on Facebook and kind of promote this stuff, get it moving for me if you wouldn't mind. And as always, I'm sure Honey would just absolutely love the extra attention. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.